Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and of course, all future trappers. I'm Lisa Miller. I'm the principal here at Father Mercury, and it's been an honor and privilege to walk these halls with you all in the last two years. Tonight, we have a few guests here with us. We have Kirsten McConnell, who is a vice principal, Jeff Power, vice principal, Darren Van Lingden, vice principal, middle school CST, Megan Morrison, our Indigenous liaison, Kayla Aikens, and our chaplain, Sherry Finney. We want to welcome you to our beautiful school, even though it's virtually. We want to remind you all that there's no need to be nervous about next year and the transition. We have many new trappers joining us each and every year, and this year is no different. And they come from all over. We'll welcome students from elementary schools in our city, and of course, students will be joining us sometimes from all parts of the world. We do acknowledge that we are very blessed to have you coming our way, and we can't wait to meet you all. To our parents, guardians, and elders joining us today, we want to let you know that at Father Mercury, we take very good care of our students. We welcome students of all faiths, and we're going to make sure that your trappers are very comfortable with our routines. Each morning, we have the honor and privilege to start with our national anthem, which is O Canada, a morning prayer, and the land acknowledgement. It's a peaceful and beautiful way for us to start our day as our Father Mercury community. That said, as always, let's take the honor and privilege to start this meeting with prayer. Please remember as we pray, learn, and celebrate, we do so on the indigenous lands of the people of Treaty 8 and the homeland of the Métis. Let's bow our heads. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. God of wisdom, we praise you for the wonder of our being, for our mind, body, and spirit. Be with our future grade seven trappers as they begin a new school year at Father Mercury. Bless them, bless their families, the teachers and the staff. Give these people the strength and grace as their bodies grow. Grant them wisdom and knowledge as they search for understanding. Please place peace and zeal in their hearts. Keep them safe and healthy. We ask this through Christ our Lord, amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. So again, let me start with saying, hello, future trappers. We're so excited to have you join us for the next wonderful six years of your education. At Father Mercury School, we work together with you, your teachers, and your family to make certain that you experience social, emotional, and academic success. We're really looking forward to meeting you in person in the 2020-21 school year. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see on the screen, we have uh, quite a few people here, and not everyone can be here with us tonight, but some of these individuals are here with us this evening, and you'll get to hear from them very shortly. When you come to Father Mercury School, there's a huge support team, which includes our liaison. As well, you will become, become very familiar with our school librarian and the day-to-day -day office admin staff. These are the people that will help answer all your questions, give you your bus pass, offer you a snack, offer you encouragement, and just help you with day-to-day -day, um, questions that you may have. We also have two learning coaches on, on our, in our building, and they work very closely with your teachers and our school chaplain, who is here every day and helps create special spiritual celebrations. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to call Mr. Power, Vice Principal for the Grade Sevens, forward. Good evening, Grade Seven students and parents. I am very excited to be your vice principal in the upcoming school year. I have the privilege of working with all the grade seven students next year. Um, in normal circumstances, we would have your teaching team here with us, but unfortunately, these circumstances have not allowed for us to do so. That being said, 
As more Alberta Health Services guidelines are released, we will be hosting a grade seven orientation so students can get to know their teachers, be introduced to them, to get their schedules, to get a tour, and also to get your locks with your lock or your lockers with locks um, in the for the upcoming school year. As time goes on, we will just keep updated on our social media and our website for that information about orientation. We look forward to having you here at our school, and I look forward to having or being your administrator. And trust me when I say that we will do all we can to help this transition from your great elementary schools into our Father Mercury family. At this time, I'd like to invite Ms. McConnell to come and share what a day in the life of a trapper would look like. Good evening, I'm Mrs. Kirsten McConnell, and this year I was the grade seven vice principal, but next year I will be working with grade eight and grade 12 students. Thanks for having us here this morning, this evening and joining us. We're gonna share a socially distanced grade seven tour this evening. Mrs. Kalma, one of our grade seven teachers, kindly helped us to do this. So we'll take a couple minutes, thank you. Hi, I'm Mrs. Kalma and welcome to Father Mercury. Uh, we are standing in the front atrium right now. This is the front of the school when you come in the main doors. It's a nice gathering place to hang out in the morning and at lunchtime. And uh, come with me, I'm gonna show you how to get to the grade seven area of the school. So when you get to the cafeteria, you can hang a right. You're gonna go past the front office. schedule but I've posted it here as well and you would see that every morning you start with math okay so at 8 30 you get dropped off at school you head over to your locker and you get your stuff whatever you need for block one in this case math you have all your math stuff ready to go for class and then you would come on in you would do math with me for about an hour and then after that you would actually leave you're not staying with me all day you're going to go to my partner teacher so you would put this stuff back into your locker you're done with your math it goes into your locker, like that, nice and organized. You get your LA stuff and you go off to your partner teacher for LA and then after an hour, they would dismiss you. You'd come back out, back to your locker to get the stuff for your next class and back again. So you're moving around fairly often, different teachers for different subjects, which is kind of nice. Okay, um, come on in, you can see a classroom. So this is my classroom as an example, so you'd be spending part of your time in here. You can maybe do math and science with me, go somewhere else for LA and social. I also do not teach you music or gym, that's different from elementary school. So we have different times in your schedule as, as well for when you'd go and take phys ed and all of your electives. Find out where you're going to eat lunch. First of all, you've been dismissed, you got to put your stuff back in your locker. You don't get to leave everything in the classroom anymore. Back to your locker, put away your stuff in the morning. Get your lunch. All right, let's go check out what you can eat. If you like enjoying your lunch where it is nice and sunny, you can enjoy lunch under the skylights in the back of your room. This table is full down. Lots of grade seven students like to eat lunch back here. It's a nice option. All right. 
We do have microwaves, so you don't have to pack a sandwich. You can microwave your leftovers if you'd like. Another good option for lunch is the cafeteria. Lots of room in here to spread out sit with your friends. Tables um, accommodate quite a few people, so you can sit here and have lunch, grab something from the vending machine, maybe even from the cafeteria. Go. All right, I'm going to take you on a quick tour of the office. This is not a place that is always scary. You don't have to be in trouble to come to the office. It's important that you know who's here, okay? The first friendly face you will see is Mrs. Schmidt. She'll be your first point of contact. If you have a question, make sure you say good morning to her every day. All right. We have Mrs. Sloan as well. These two lovely ladies will help answer all of your questions. If you need to make a payment for something, um, anything money related, you're going to talk to our business manager. That's Ms. Peterson. Come in around. You'll see these offices, that's where you're going to find our vice principals and principals, all right? So this is a place where you can come and have all of your questions answered. Just a hop, skip, and a jump away from the office is the library. It's just a lots of things. You can, of course, bring your lunch and eat lunch with you at the tables. All right, if you want to eat lunch in the library, you can do that. We also have books that you can check out as well as computers that you can use. No food at the computers, but once you're done eating, feel free to come play some video games or uh, get your homework done at lunchtime and then not have to do any homework at home. You'll know you're close to the gym when you see our wicked display case. Proof that Merck does it better. Everything yeah. from football to volleyball to robotics, Merck does it better. <laughs> Let's go to the gym. And it's huge! All sorts of room for you to do all sorts of sports. This space is available, however, it's a supervised space. So when you're taking phys ed or an elective that uses the fitness center or some of our academies also use this, okay? Don't. All right, that concludes my tour. Thanks for coming along with me. Don't be scared. I know it seems like a very big school and there's a lot of kids that go here, um, but really everyone is super friendly. So if you ever have any questions or you're lost, um, don't hesitate to ask a teacher, an EA, or a student. Everyone here is happy to help because trappers are the best. Bye! Thanks for letting us show you around. Thanks again to Mrs. Kalma and Ms. Tremblay for putting together that video for us. At Father Mercury, many students start their day by arriving on public transit or yellow sparksman busing. Yellow busing is for students who reside in the south side of our city or south of the bridge. Students who do not live in our catchment zone will still be able to purchase a transit pass at the school each month. This year, the city charged $42.50 for a monthly pass to students who don't qualify for a free bus pass. More questions about transportation are always best answered by our front office staff. Don't hesitate to give Mrs. Sloan a call about that. No cell phones in the classroom for grade seven unless teachers ask you to bring them. The best way to get information about upcoming dates and events is to please regularly check out our Instagram and our Facebook, and also to check out the emails from your child's homeroom teacher. Don't have anxiety about class lists. We do our best to ensure students are placed with others from their feeder schools. If you have any questions or concerns, please reach out to Mr. Power to discuss this, and he'll connect with you on an inv individual basis. Class sizes are typically in a range of about 25 to 30 students with seven homerooms, and that's what it looked like for us this year. In these current times, we're unsure about some of our registrations for next year, but we do ensure students are supported, and Mrs. Morrison is going to speak a bit more about that later on. We know that our future grade seven trappers are gonna need support as we move into next year. And we do have plans to ensure no student is left behind in their education. That's one piece of what our learning coaches work really hard to do with our teachers. We offer literacy and numeracy support for all students and then other more intensive supports for students as they need it. And that's where you would be connecting with Mrs. Finson, Ms. Akins, or Mrs. Morrison. Part of being more independent and organized is having the right tools for your core classes. 
You'll have a locker that's close to you, like Miss Kelma showed, and it will be your responsibility to keep it clean and organized. Students do not share lockers in middle school. We have the privilege that they don't share lockers in grade seven. Most teachers do request that students only carry books from class to class and don't bring large backpacks or other items into the classroom since, since each student is assigned their own individual locker. Students do need indoor shoes, but they don't change their shoes at the front of the school doors. They just change them when they attend phys ed class and go into the gym. Adults, please don't buy lots of school supplies. It's rare students need items like crayons, markers, glue stick, and paint for grade seven. What they do need is a way to keep their notes and their assignments organized for each subject. And they don't get to keep everything in their classrooms like Mrs. Kelma indicated. So they need a way to keep everything organized. They change classrooms each block, so they need a system that will work for them. Teachers will make suggestions in the first few days of schools as to what they would like to see, so you can even hold off on purchasing those things until they've been to school to their homeroom teachers. I'm now going to pass this over to Mrs. Darren Van Lingen, and she's going to chat about something really fun, all of our elective classes. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for tuning in. My name is Darren Van Lingen. I'm one of the vice principals at the school. I will be speaking about electives that are offered at our middle school level for students at Father Mercury. We are proud that we have a variety of courses that lead into high school electives for different pathways, as well as form a foundation for our students who are interested in registered apprentice program, Skills Alberta, and dual credit opportunities. Electives are courses that students take based on their interests. They are selected by the students. Electives are typically chosen during the first week of school for term one and two, and then again in January for term three and four. Teachers will share information with students about the electives, as well as we will send information home with parents so that you can have discussions about the choices of electives your students will be selecting. At Father Mercury, we have a science and technology center. For middle school students, they have the opportunity to explore computer-aided design and manufacturing, communication technology, which includes an introduction to photography, videography, and animation, computer science, which looks at modeling and programming, as well as pre-engineering, which explores different types of engineering and looking at the engineering design process. We also have robotics, which looks like different platforms such as Lego, VEX, and FTC. In our CTS area, many of these courses lead to a pathway to participate in Skills Alberta and RAP. Some of our programs are offered at the grade eight and nine level, as we need to respect the number of students that we can safely have participate in the shops. These are some of the exciting electives you can look forward to. We have many students who compete in exhibition and competitions for art. Foods and nutrition is very popular with students as they bake and cook different meals that they get to eat. Cosmetology allows students to look at hair design and styling, as well as manicures, pedicures, and facials. As well, when they get to grade eight and grade nine, they can look at automotives, welding, and construction. Father Mercury is very happy to be able to offer different music electives. Some of these electives run during the school day and some run outside of school hours. This means that they do not take up an elective during the school time. Some of these programs run year long as some students participate in showcases and music competitions. As well, we have a variety of courses that are aligned with CTF or Career Technology Foundations. These electives are offered dependent on teacher availability. Some include fitness, where they look at strength training, drama, and glee, as well as leadership programs, extra support for our English language learners, as well as we have an indig Indigenous cultural studies class that is led by our liaison. As you can see, we offer a variety of programs that help our students prepare for various careers and educational pathways. 
The decision on which school you spend the next six years is really important. So make sure you take the time to look at what programs are available that make you feel that you will be successful. Mr. Power will now discuss our academies. Another great opportunity for students at Father Mercury is our athletic academies. Our academies are intended to promote skill development at any entry level, encourage positive social relationships, and to enhance knowledge of a given sport. Like electives, academy are chosen prior to the student's enrollment as they determine the homeroom students are placed in. They are optional for students as they do require a registration fee and students who register in our academies will be placed into homeroom based on the academy they select. So let me go back. They are, unlike electives, they are chosen before school starts. Sport Academy registrations will begin on May 19th. We will post a form on our Facebook page as well as the new information section of the Father Mercury website. Students interested in enrolling in our athletic academies can fill out that form and we will take record of it for the upcoming school year. This year, as a result of the changes that have occurred, we will not be requiring students to pay a deposit until we have confirmation that certain academies will be running at certain times. As our academies travel off site, they are subject to some changes in the upcoming school year as the current global and municipal circumstances are ever changing. The fees associated with an academy vary depending on academy. The fees collected are used to offset the costs of busing, facility rentals, sports specific coaches, and academy apparel. At this time, I will just explain briefly about each one of our academies. Our hockey academy students participate in this academy out of the Casman Centre. We have a CCAN at the Casman Centre where students are to drop off and pick up their equipment. This can occur on a daily basis. If students do not need to pick up their equipment, they can leave their equipment in the CCAN overnight as this is a heated CCAN. Students who participate in this academy work with two of our academy instructors as well as the affiliation with the Fort McMurray Oil Barons. This academy replaces two electives and runs every day for three terms at a fee of $1,400 a year. Our baseball academy students participate in this academy using the Ross Henniger baseball field and out of McDonald Island during the winter months. Students who participate in this academy work with our school instructors as well as the affiliate from Fort McMurray Minor Baseball. This academy replaces two electives and runs every day for four terms at a fee of $1,400 a year. Our swim academy students participate in this academy out of McDonald Island. Students who participate work with McDonald Island staff to earn their Life Saving Society Bronze Certification, First Aid, and Red Cross Assistant Lifeguarding. This academy replaces two electives per term and runs every day for one term at a fee of $1,400. Our cheer academy students participate in this academy out of the Premier Academy facility. Students who participate work with Kiara Peltz, a level six instructor, and get a discount of 25% off of their monthly tuition at the Premier Academy. This replaces again two electives per term and runs for two terms. These, the fees for this academy are $1,400 for the entire academy. Our volleyball and basketball academy students are bused to Syncrude Sport and Wellness to work with the Keanu College athletes to enhance their knowledge of the given sport and enhance their skills. This academy replaces two electives and runs every day for one term at the fee of $700. Our Martial Arts Academy students participate in this academy at Father Mercury High School. Our Martial Arts Academy takes place in the morning before school at 7.30 until 8.30. Martial Arts Academy is a year-long academy and works with Sandy Bowman and Craig Hillier on mixed martial arts. The cost of the Martial Arts Academy is $425 per semester, which means a cost of $850 for the year. A new academy that we are introducing this year is our Badminton Academy, where students will participate at Father Mercury High School and like martial arts, it will take place before school. This academy runs for two terms and the 
per, for a cost of $350 per term. Our Soccer Academy students participate in this academy at Father Mercury High School. Students who participate work with our Soccer Academy instructor during the fall and spring months on the Father Mercury field. This academy replaces two electives and runs every day for the two terms at the fee of $350 per term. Like I said in the previous slide, the fees that we do ask for are to pay for the external facilities, the transportation to these facilities, and the professionals that we hire to support our academies and to help with the skill development for our athletes. If financial support is needed, there are organizations within the community that do support our students. For information on this, we ask that you reach out to our business manager, Geraldine Peterson, for more information. If you have any questions or concerns about our academies or need further clarification, I invite you to reach out to any of the administrators here today and we can do our best to answer these questions. If you are looking at enrolling in the academy, again, you would fill out the form that is gonna be posted on Facebook as well as on our new information section of our website, or you can call direct to the school and sign up with Geraldine Peterson. At this time, I'd like to go through some school guidelines with you just to help to ease the minds for parents and students moving to this rather large facility. We want our students to feel safe and feel valued at our school and we want our families to have confidence that when you send your child to us, we treat them as our own. To keep Father Mercury safe, we, it is a, typically a closed campus for our grade student, seven students for first semester. What that means is our students are not permitted to go off-site during lunchtime. With the current school year, our practice was that if you were going to go out for lunch with your parent or guardian, you must sign out in the office. This would take place with Ms. Sloan and Ms. Schmidt. If this is a regular event, we just ask that you please speak with your grade level administrator and we can then contact the teachers so that this practice doesn't need to take place on every occasion. To ensure we promote a positive and healthy environment, we ask that students refrain from drinking energy drinks. As well, we ask that students refrain from using vaporizers or any other tobacco or smoking products. A common question that Ms. McConnell has already addressed surrounds cell phone usage. Students are permitted to have their cell phones in our facility, but it is the responsibility of the student to manage their cell phone and keep it in their locker or backpack unless otherwise directed by their classroom teacher. Students are permitted to wear hats within the facility, but they are to be removed during O Canada and our morning prayer. Hoods are not to be up when students are in prayerful silence or we are conducting a religious celebration. Another common question that is asked surrounds students who look to switch home rooms. I know that Ms. McConnell has already addressed this, but the home rooms are dependent or where your child is placed is based on a variety of different factors including learning styles, academy opportunities and student needs. We are always open for feedback for our future trappers. If you would like to have a conversation about home room placement, I invite you to email me directly or call the school so we can ensure that all student needs are met. Lastly, we fully understand that there are many many uncertainties and anxieties surrounding this transition. There is a lot of information that is being pre presented at this time, and I do not want you to hesitate to contact our school at any time to ask these questions. We will be checking our emails over the summer, so if you do wake up in the middle of the night at 3 a.m. in the middle of August with a burning question that you need to know about Father Mercury, please do not hesitate to email any administrator and we will get back to you in a timely manner. We want this to be smooth and seamless for your children as they move from their great elementary schools into this amazing facility. Hi everyone, my name is Megan Morrison and I'm here to talk to you about our Student Services Department here at Father Mercury. So our Student Services Department provides counseling and academic support to all of our students through grades seven to 12. My role in student services is of classroom support teacher. Um, we actually have two classroom support teachers here, myself and Mr. Merchant. Mr. Merchant works with our grades 10, 11, and 12 students, and I look after our middle school students in grades seven, eight, and nine. So my role <clears throat> is to work closely with our middle school students and their families to ensure that any students coming to us who require any accommodations, 
any academic modifications, if you use assistive technology or you have an individual support plan or any other specialized services that you need, we make sure that we have those set up for you at the beginning of the year to ensure that you have a really successful year here at Father Mark. I also work closely with our classroom teachers to ensure that they're aware of each student's unique learning needs and then can therefore plan their lessons and activities to best support the needs of their class. So we're really excited to see you next year. Um, I know some people probably have questions and you're a little nervous about the transition of your student, your children coming from their elementaries up. So if you do want to get in touch with us prior to, um, you can phone the main office and we can definitely connect that way. Also in our student services department, we have um, two guidance counselors, Ms. Finson and Ms. Beaton, who are available to provide individual and small group counseling, academic counseling, career counseling, and they can also help to connect you to any outside agencies that you may need for support. So Ms. Finson will be our grade seven school counselor next year, um, so you would work closely with her. Okay, so we look forward to seeing you, and right now I'm gonna introduce our Indigenous liaison, Ms. Aikens. Hello, I am the middle school Indigenous liaison at Father Merck. I won't be here next year, but I will be back after that. Uh, my role in the school is to um, just provide supports to our Indigenous students and families, um, whether it be academic support, spiritual, cultural, whatever the students may be needing in, within the school to be successful. Um, I did do a Indigenous Studies um, option class and it's mostly student-led and the kids decide at the beginning of the semester what they would like to learn about their culture and then we go from there. So if you have any questions, you can reach out to me at the school. So, as you can see, at Father Mercury, we're a strong family. And one of the most important things about being part of our family is getting involved. At Father Mercury, we have many ways that that can happen. In the fall, we have cross country and volleyball. In the winter, we have basketball. Spring brings along Babington soccer, track and field. As well, there are several leadership and student initiatives, such as Santa's Anonymous, which serves our community. We have the charity challenges and mission trips. As well, here at Father Mercury, Mercury, we have several clubs. We have the Safe Zone, First Lego Robotics League, ESL Club, Literacy Team, uh, or sorry, Liturgy Team, Choir and Choral Music, Robotics, Writers Club, Game Club, and many, many more. There are so many exciting opportunities. And like we just said, so many, it ranges from athletics to social justice opportunities. The best part about being a trapper is being involved. So please get involved, whether you play a small role or a large role. It's so important that we work together as a family and grow. We make our students aware by posting all this information through social media on our daily announcements. There will be parent emails and of course, our awesome homeroom teachers share this as well. So that does bring us to the end of our evening and we do wanna thank you for being here with us. As everyone has indicated, if you have any questions, you can email fm at fmcsd.ab.ca or you can email anyone that has, has uh, spoken here tonight. It should be a 24 hour turnaround. So again, we want to answer your questions. We know there's so much information that we've shared. So if you think of something in the next, like this evening or for the next while, and you want that answer, don't hesitate to reach out. You can also phone the school and we can have a conversation if that's even easier. So that said, we will want to share even more insight into our school and the fun part of Father Mercury. We'll be back to answer all your questions after this video.
We hope you enjoyed our, our video showcasing all of the great things that happened here at Father Mercury. A few of the questions that have come up online to us are regarding the academies. Uh, the one key question is how do I enroll? I just want to remind everyone that on May 19th, which will be next Tuesday, a form will be placed on our Father Mercury Facebook page, as well as the new information section of our website that you can fill out to enroll in any of the athletic academies. Again, there is not going to be any deposit at this time, so by filling that form out, we will put your name on the list, and as we know more information regarding the facility rentals, we will be in contact with you to confirm that you were enrolled in the academy, and then we can start to talk about fee schedules. The capacity for our academies vary depending on the academy, so for specific capacities, I would strongly encourage that you go to our Academy Handbook, which could be found on our new information section of our website. That will break down the fee schedule for all of our academies as well as the capacity. We strongly encourage you to access that component of our website as this will help to illustrate many of the different things that we have spoken about tonight. At this time, I will invite Mrs. Miller back up to conclude with this evening. I just, uh, there's one more question. Someone had asked if there's honor roll. And yes, there is. We do have honor roll here at Father Mercury as well as honors with distinction. And we can sh share more information about that um, on, on our website or what have you. Or if you need more information or specifics, you can give us a call and we can share that. So that does bring our evening to an end. And again, we do want to thank you for joining us. Choosing your school is a very important task, and we want you to choose with an open heart and an open mind. We do want to also remind you that uh, you need to choose what is best for you and for your child. So good luck with all your decisions, and have a pleasant evening, and God bless. Thank you.